Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Sly Cooper today. Uh, we're gonna be doing the next few... No, no we're not. We're doing, um, this one. We're going back and getting those two bottles that I missed. Two or one bottle, I don't remember what it was exactly. Oh, they're up there! Well, oh, great. I think I kind of might know where they're at, but then again, I probably don't. And, yeah, I was... I'm um, going on about how... I'm just... I was going on about, like, time trials and stuff. Uh... And how I'm not gonna do them. Because I just don't feel like there's really necessarily a point to doing them. And even if I did do them, like, what would be the point? Because you guys wouldn't get to see them anyway, but... That's just kind of my my factors in of all that stuff. Like it's just pointless to do them at all. And I was getting mad at like how platformers kind of in this era of trying to be like Crash Bandicoot kind of had time trials in general, just because Crash had it, I guess. Crash, when Crash did it, Crash did it well. So you know that that's kind of the way I see it, though. Crash didn't put time trials in until um, Crash 3 and, and onward, it seemed like, because most games usually actually have time trials nowadays. Crash games, anyway. Oh, well, that's actually not where I thought it was going to be this time. I'm kind of surprised. Actually, come to think of it, oh, they're out there. Oh. Oh, okay, but... How do I... Possibly get up there. I'm guessing I probably. I have no idea how the hell I miss these stupid things there. Oh, there's a safe! Oh. Oh, wow, I can't believe I missed that. Oh my goodness. I am such a fool. Such a fool. Who needs to go back to school? But won't because he's lazy and doesn't care because. What's the frickin' point sometimes? Okay. So, yeah. I probably should say now we're doing good so far. <laughs> now, we actually, um, we pretty much beat this entire level. I need to go back and go fight the Panda King. Now, I want to let, I've been mentioning him a lot, and I want to let you guys know he's the best boss in this game. Uh, Mugshot's pretty good, too, but I'm saying, like, I like this one the best. Not because of his design necessarily, but mainly because of how he fights. He just has this really nice, unique fight style to him, which is basically martial arts, kung fu crap, but he... Just every boss we've fought so far has been just kind of a very boring fight, you know, and Miss Ruby especially. I mean, I know what it is. Miss Ruby is just basically, um, well, a rhythm-based mechanic thing going on there. But that that's just Miss Ruby. Uh, Riley sucks. We all know that. We've seen him before. Riley is just... Or Rayley, whatever his name is. I, I think his name's like Riley or something like that. He's not really that good either. He's probably one of the worst bosses in history. I mean, just considering how easy he is to fight, you could pretty much kind of like bug him out a little bit and take him out that way. But I don't know. I don't prefer to do it the cheap way. I like to do exploits in my games sometimes, but if it's a game like, like I respect or something, I probably usually won't do like exploits or something like that. Unless I'm just really annoyed with something in there and I just decide to say, screw this, let's just get this over with. That's kind of what most games to me do, like Crash. No, but... Oh, Crash I'll do legitly too. Unless, which there usually is, a problem that I need to cover. And I need to get past. This vault code appears, appears to have been written in Owl Violet. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat what? the bird who created oh, it. Oh, crap. This was the one I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why that other safe reminded me of this one specifically, but I did. This one, we can't... Well, at least we got all the bottles, right? That's a good thing. Hey. We must stay positive about it, right? We got all the bottles. That's good enough. Now we don't have to worry about coming back and getting all of them again. We have to fight and defeat the final boss. As if that wasn't kind of obvious enough. We have to fight the final boss, defeat him, and yeah, that's pretty much the idea here. Uh, yeah, so... He's like in the next world anyway, we don't really have to worry about it. Where, where, 
Oh, that's right, the keys are over there. What am I doing over here? I have no idea what I'm doing over here. I'm just running around like a goof. Okay, there we go. I don't remember if um, the next world has le No, no it doesn't. It, it does, sort of, but does not, kind of. What I mean is, there's... There's levels, but it doesn't work like this. We'll go from one to one to one. And, you know, onward and onward. Flame fool! I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Okay, so accordingly to this guy, he knows a ability called Flame Foo. Um, as you can see, he just launches out these firewalls. Do what I do here, just avoid him. It's one of the best ways. Then you get up to him, and he'll do like this kind of, yeah, this crouching like punch thing going on here. Make sure to jump over that. Then eventually he'll knock you back, and he'll start firing more fireballs. Every time we take out like a chunk of his health. He'll eventually learn like a new move to kind of hit us with, so yeah, it's just... You have to learn... Just to watch and learn how he actually fights and stuff like that. Like, just watch his patterns. Just be very careful of him. He's easy, but he could kill us. That's the thing. He may be easy, but he, yeah, he can kill. And he has done before, especially the fact that I have no... freaking well, horseshoes. This is what I love using the Sly Cane for, is actually just whacking people like this. This is why I like this boss particularly, because he's the only boss we can actually get up to and whack completely. Unlike uh, most bosses where it's just like, oh yeah, hit him once and he'll go flying back for a minute or two. This boss actually allows us to beat him up, which is something I kind of find very interesting. He's very fun to fight too. Because you kind of have to just run around for a little bit and kind of catch up to him, and then eventually he'll learn like a few new moves himself. Of course, it's pretty obvious what he's going to do, considering that he uses both hands or one hand or whatever. That one may be confusing at first, but it's easy Your nonetheless. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> oh. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high-tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place. The Krakatoa Volcano in Russia! That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five! So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Okay. So we finished up that level. We got almost all the okay, saves except for partner, one, which in order to do that one, we have to beat the final boss. We were on our way to the Krakarov Volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. 
Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Okay. Did that ever start us off in a turret section, kind of? This thing does not overheat. I don't know how I missed all those. So don't worry about overheating or anything like that. Just make sure you shoot as far ahead as you possibly can. If you can see anything, make sure you shoot it because... We're going to go by rather quickly through this. This little first level deal here. I think you can kind of save it right here too and still be fine and come back to this exact level. If not, then I can always do it like in some other episode or something. Or do it off screen and then come back or whatever when we get to the you know, future levels, I guess. Not future as in like crash from future levels. I'm saying like future as in like the level that are coming up soon. Uh, these bird enemies, owl enemies, birds. Uh, these owl enemies, uh, owls are birds too, right? Uh, whenever they kind of catch a flame, that's when you want to shoot them down because They'll, that's basically how they attack you, necessarily. Um, these things... Yeah, we we only take like one hit, I guess. Supposedly. I don't know why they give us like one hit and we have to start all the way over from the beginning. Which sucks. Plus the fact that we actually have lives still is kind of confusing to me. Why isn't video games are not bad? I mean, not in, like in this sense, it can get kind of annoying, but... It makes sense to, I guess, to have them. They took it out in slide 2 and 3, I believe, so... Man, I really want to play, like, these in time right now. That looks like a really good game. Even though, it, even though I'm pretty sure, like, most people who've been fans of, like, Sly Cooper as longer than I have, for sure, are probably more likely a little bit upset with that game. I don't really see any problem with it, considering that it looks the same thing to me, in general, because it's the same concept, really, I guess. I didn't get that far in watching though, but I've, I've seen a lot of videos on it. Yeah, but yeah, make sure you destroy the rocks that are pretty much kind of in your vicinity ahead of you. You don't have to worry about the ones that are like way up there, but just kind of worry about the ones back there. Those ones can be a pain, but the best way to take out these owl guys is wait for them to get kind of close to you and then shoot them down, or just constantly keep your marker on them, your hit marker, and just wait until like one of them probably gets to fire and blow them up that way, I guess. There's really nothing else I can tell you about. This, this this is also inverted, by the way. The controls are actually inverted. So if you don't like inverted controls, this probably might be a problem for you both out there who do not like inverted controls. Oh, crap. All up. Okay, we got really close right there. That was a little too close for comfort because I had to deal with both the mines and those raw things. Yeah, these guys, I'd rather have... I'd rather fight these guys the entire time than have to deal with them with stupid rocks. Any day of the week, it seems like. I can kill these things off much better than I can those guys with the rocks. Well, never mind. I guess I got hit. There should be a checkpoint thing somewhere. Alright, I think we should have passed a checkpoint by now. Nope, I guess not. Are you serious? I gotta go back and do it all over again? I wanna let you guys know that, like, after that bird part I just got killed by, I think there's maybe, like, one or two more sections of things we have to do and then we'll break pretty much out of it. That's what uh, this entire final world's gonna world is gonna be world. That's what this fi entire final place is going to be like because well, we're in Russia. That's what the final you know, say world. That's what the final world is gonna be like because you'll be trust me. We'll, we'll get past it. it. It's it's basically sometimes on rail shootings or right now it's just basically an on rail shooter. But you, I keep getting hit by the stupid owls. Once! Yeah, one time. I have, like, no horseshoes either, so I can't take a hit. And I really have no time to go back and get one. So, let that be that, I guess. Sucks, but... You gotta deal with it sometimes. I wish, I wish I could put on the fast... Fast forward thing to get past this. That'd make it a lot easier. I mean, as slow as this vehicle is going, it's not very... It's not a long section, really. It's just right over this... Right over this bridge, that's basically what it is. Hitting these things seems to be kind of a pain in the butt now, all of a sudden. 
I don't know if you have to hit him once or hit him multiple times. It seems to me like once is once is enough. So we got past that. That's good. Just need to kind of focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, you can actually destroy the rocks before they even fall down too. So it kind of you know helps you out there. It's a good thing they let you do that though. There we go. Good thing we won't run out of ammo or overheat for that matter. That's a good thing. Yeah. Come on, just die. Just die. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing these right now. I don't want these things right here. I hate these mines. I really hate mines. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here comes the freaking boulder things again. At least they can destroy pretty easily. I mean, you can actually stop them right in their tracks, too, which is nice. And I think they might even be able to destroy the mines for me, like if they actually hit the mines or not. I think they do. Yeah, we should not, we hopefully could not, we hopefully should not screw up this part. I hope we get past this part. I'm trying to think of all the ones that just now spawned in, trying to figure out the ones that have, have been here for a while so I can take them out first. Considering that they'll probably catch a flame too. Eh, okay. Yeah, we actually have to stop just to kind of kill him off. There we go. All done. See? That, that was it. That was basically it. But we're going to be doing that for like four more levels, three, four levels or so. Not not just on rail shooting, but we're going to move up. Yeah. Kind of like this. Now we're going to be able to play as, I think, Sly? No, 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 we have to drive around and shoot things, yeah. Would have been easy to get a better oh, and thrash our new turret. That yeah, won't be a problem. <laughs> I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Let's go. Alright, so yeah, we actually have a battering ram ability that allows us to kind of punch away these enemies and stuff like that. Uh, do not worry about them, just let these computers kind of fall down. It, it remind, this reminds me of that thing from Spyro where you had to fight Hunter and he was trying to collect all the smooth things. That was in Spyro too, yeah, I always forget what Spyro that was. But there was a level where you had to collect all the stupid, like, energy crystal, no, the crystal thingies, yeah, and... That's what this just basically reminds me of, is that, or something from Banjo Kazooie at least. I remember Banjo Kazooie had something like that too, with like that croc. That croc dude, or whatever it was. I usually let like a few live because, I mean, like, what, what what's one of these things gonna do anyway? I mean, they're basically. The more, the more there are, you know, the worse outcome is pretty much gonna be. But if I can find out where they're gonna spawn at. I can just take them out that way. They have this lava slime, dude. They're, they're not really a big problem unless you're going to that computer and then they destroy it right before you get there because they're closer. That can get kind of annoying. Rather quickly. They can't hurt you, though, so that's good. The only thing they can do is just basically destroy the computers. Which, hell, isn't much of a problem. I don't know why there's so many computers. Are these all Max? Might be, then I'll probably have more fun destroying them that way. It might even be Chromebooks, for all I know. I'm MacBooks. No, I'm not a Mac guy. I'm actually an easy guy. Sorry, guys. There we go. See? These are going to get easy. Really, really easy stuff. Just past them is the control room to Clockwork's Death Ray Tower. I think it's time for some Cooper thieving and sabotage. Don't you think, Sly? I think so. I think there's actually a Bentley hack. Uh, level going on at pink around the the last level or so. So that was level two. This is level three. Now we actually have to do something. Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby trapped. You better get out of there. Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Okay. 
So just basically like Slice said, you know, like a real slide here, a jump here, whatever, you know, we'll be fine. I probably should have paid attention to that, though. Kind of a numb nuts. But yeah, it's not too hard. We just gotta kind of climb and stuff like that. Of course, you can speed it up to make it go by faster if you really want to, but... Oh, well, I screwed up then. And now I'm dead. I don't know why I couldn't just jump in there anyway. I mean, these cameras don't seem to... These spotlights don't seem to be pretty hard to get past. Maybe they are. I don't know. At least this game's very linear on where I can jump, though. It's very nice. This this was like any other game, I'd probably be dead by now. Probably. Oh. Okay, so smash up some computers. Nah, never mind. Okay, that, that's great. That's awesome. I love how they just throw random stuff at you and just expect you to know how to deal with it as soon as you get there. Well, then again, that's called trial and error. You're supposed to figure out these things. First things first. I'm a realist. No, I'm kidding. That song is terrible. I, fi fi I finally figured out who sang that, though. I know. I know. And now I want to kill myself. Just even knowing who did it. <laughs> okay. We could have got spotted right there, but... Nah. Pointless now. Uh, can I take this thing out? Yes, I can. Awesome. Now we can get through the spotlights just fine and dandy. I think you can probably walk through the spotlights with no problem? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, that was the point of this, yeah, was to... Avoid the darts. I keep feeling like they're gonna actually kill me though, because... I'm spamming those stupid things. <laughs> uh. Okay, now, these spotlights are getting on my nerves. Yep, see, I got spotted now. They can't do anything until they actually legitly spot me again. There we go. Well done. Now we're going to take a few things because they're being a pain in the butt. Alright. Sly Cooper! I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese! Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay. Okay, I So now we have a little shoot 'em up section. Uh, we're gonna be seeing these a lot more in the second game because they really enjoy these for some reason. All I have to do is just break these things down and kind of shoot out these key thing with bobs here. No, no, we don't have to shoot those, we have to grab them, that's right, yeah. But of course every single like time we destroy something there will always be something harder to beat. There's usually like an enemy or something stupid going on, or whatever it may be. I think you have to destroy everything. Oh no, 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 you don't have to, okay. Sometimes, at least from what I prefer to do, is destroy everything before you leave. Considering that these things will get kind of in the way. It's just supposed to, you're just supposed to break the keys, walks out of it, well we died. Yes, I'd like to try that again. Duh. Why would I not? I wish you could probably have like a skip option, but that'd be kind of cheap, wouldn't it? Cause then what would be the point of doing it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh! Those things you can't even destroy either. Those virus protector fireballs or whatever you want to call them. That's probably what they are, I don't know. I just want to mention that we'll not be able to defeat this Level one, one go. If I die again, then I'll probably just end up the episode that way. Well, I died again, so I guess I'm going to end up the episode this way. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time to play some more. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. We actually have more than 75%. I thought we had... I thought we ended off with 75%. Well, anyway, we're way over that then. I didn't do the time trials. Weird. That I remember doing. I thought I ended off with 75% before. Hell, I have no idea. Anyway... We're going to do uh, more hacking stuff, so, yeah. 
and we'll continue on to the next level after that. If we can get past this one, it's fine. So, take care, everybody.